637. We're diving off into our political talk for the morning with Breitbart's John Hayward joining me on the Stevens Roofing Newsmaker Hotline. Hey, John, good morning. Good morning. Glad to be here again. I uh, wonder if you've got your chips ready or Coca-Cola ready and the popcorn and the special little place on your couch because you're just so excited about the Democrat debates the next two nights. Well, you can't help thinking it's interesting no matter where you stand on the ultimate outcome. This is the beginning of a very crowded race. You've got a lot of people jockeying for position. They've got this lottery they use to decide who's going on what night, and it set up some interesting situations where the first debate tonight is really going to be all about Elizabeth Warren, who's really trying to get in there as the third or fourth significant candidate and then preserve her viability, and everybody else on the stage with her would like to take a piece out of her and then grab that position for themselves. And then tomorrow night, they all have to decide how much they want to take a piece out of Joe Biden and how hard they really want to hit him. So um, I've been predicting that it's going to be another one of these giveaway fests, you know, because they've only got 60 seconds to respond. So they're going to be talking about everything that they're going to give to everybody, which they know they their butts can't cover, but they're going to say it anyway and then attack Donald Trump. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Every privately held dollar in the United States will be spent six times over by the time they're finished. They'll, they'll have trillions of dollars of, of things they're going to take your money and use for it. And for anybody who is a taxpayer that worries about this stuff, it's going to be a nauseating spectacle. But this is what the left wants to hear. They want to hear how they're going to take over and, and dominate and manage and, you know, and hurt the deplorables and everything. I think the real uh, vibe here is going to be that everyone other than Biden is trying to prove that they can win. And Bernie Sanders does what he does. I don't think he's going to change much. But for most of the others, I think their goal here really is to try to sound plausible and convince the rest of the base that they're not just you know throwing the dice on a loser if they support them. Your real job here, if you're anybody other than Biden, is to prove that you have some electability, and that might cause them to rein in the crazy a little bit. You know they're going to make a big deal about the crisis at the border, which six months ago, every last one of them said there wasn't a crisis at the right. border. They've created it. This is a manufactured crisis, the Democratic Party is created. It's incredible human suffering that they have inflicted in order to for their political gain. They're still doing it. They're voting against bills that would help those people, even as they bleat and whine and scream about concentration camps. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're going to play that card really hard over these next couple of days. That's going to be their big attack on Trump. You know, one of the things that I've been seeing, too, is the pictures that are showing up and going viral on the Internet of the kids sleeping underneath the uh, aluminum blankets and stuff like that. When you go back and you research that, which most people don't do, they just look at it and go, oh, that's so hard. Horrible. Those kids are sleeping on the Those are pictures from the Obama administration era. I know they keep doing that. They keep they keep messing up and posting Obama era pictures because those were the really terrible pictures. Right. And then somebody calls them on it and they pull it and they all just forget. It's important to understand as you as you watch these debates, the, the Democratic base electorate, the core Democratic voters, these people are absolute robots. They have no memory of what happened under Barack Obama. They've given every Democrat a total pass for yep. everything they've done to create the immigration crisis, and they don't want to hear anything else about it. They, they do not want to hear that this is a longstanding problem and that it's created by the sheer number of people coming to the border. That's one of the reasons Democrats vote against humanitarian aid for these people. Not only do they want to make the crisis worse so they can profit from it politically, right. they don't want to admit how many of them there are. That's right. That's exactly right. Well, I, I you know, and I've been doing a lot of research into Democrats here leading up to these uh, debates. A lot of them aren't, aren't paying attention at all to what's going on politically. I think I saw that only or less than 20 percent of dyed-in-the-wool Democrats are even tuned in to anything that's happening uh, politically right now. And certainly, if you're a Trump supporter, I can't imagine over the next two nights that there's anything that these 20 people can possibly say that's going to change your mind if you're a Trump supporter. So I think a lot of conservatives are looking at this as a waste of time to watch this. Unless, unless you're just really a political junkie and you just got to have your, your dose of politics, tonight, tomorrow night are going to be like a waste of time for you. You're going to find something else to do, I think. Well, it's probably not going to be an enjoyable experience to watch it, but I think you have to. You need to pluck the sound bites that these people throw out and make sure that everybody knows about them. Joe Biden, in particular, is a believer in this old Democratic tactic of tacking to the right during the general election. He's going to say a lot of crazy things to get the left behind him, and then in the general, he's going to reinvent himself as a moderate. Don't let him get away with it. Remember every crazy thing these people say over the next two days, and just never stop repeating it. Never stop hammering them with everything they say these next two days. 
mean, you can bet we're going to be doing that for sure. Um, on to another subject quickly here. Bob Mueller apparently is going to testify before Congress, even though back in May he said, quote, this report is my testimony. I would not provide information beyond that which is already public in any appearance before Congress. But apparently he's going to show up before Congress on July 17th. What do you think about that? It's really odd, the timing on this, because this announcement comes out on the eve of these Democratic debates. They pretty clearly didn't want to make all that big a deal about the, the whole impeachment thing. That's, that's red meat they don't want to be throwing out right now. They want to talk about other stuff. But now they're going to have to talk about it because that news came up. And I strongly suspect that when Mueller gets there, he's going to face more grilling from Republicans than Democrats. I think him going up there is going to expose him to a lot of tough questions from the Republicans on these committees. And I don't think the outcome is going to be very politically helpful to the Democrats on All right. We'll speak tomorrow morning and again on Friday morning, too, John, as we break down the debates. I appreciate your time, as always, my friend. Thanks very much for having me. John Hayward from Breitbart.com, the author of Dr. Zero, Year One.